need to get that W. Exactly. All right, but here we go. We're going to get this started. Rex showing up for San Diego, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been a while since San Diego has actually made it this far uh, into the brackets. Uh, most of the time, they, they fall a little bit short, but Rex yeah. showing up their rest presentation here. And we're going to get our first match started on Pokemon Stadium, but Rex likes a button check, so we got some extra time. I totally respect it because as me as a Link main and a lot of Link mains, they like to do... Some of them like to do a button check, making sure you have your, all, all your technical abilities in play. Especially one of them being bomb bomb jump. Especially that's super crucial to make sure you're able to execute that properly. Not only that, your boomerang arcs. All, all these plays are super important for Link. And of course, if you guys are wondering, I'm pretty sure you might you guys might have said on the stream at this point, but just to reiterate, for those of you watching now, uh, Rex is typically known as the best link here in SoCal. He's actually the best player in San Diego. He's got a lot of wins over Armando, aka AC, MM Leo, Circuit, uh, that one rider, Charger. I mean, this man has been dominating. This man's been putting a link on the map for sure, dude. If you're wondering what region is being dominated by a certain character, Link is definitely the one dominating SD. Yeah, I, I was talking about it before, that there was like these loyalty programs in Smash 4, and if you pick one of them, then you get a buffed main in yeah. Smash Ultimate. Link is definitely one of them. Yo, man, man. Sheik Man's got robbed, bro. <laughs> Sheik Man's got robbed. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Sheik Man's got robbed. They, they definitely were part of that loyalty program for a hot minute, and they got robbed. It's all good, dude. At the end of the day, yeah, you're right. I feel like you, you won the Smash Lotto if you happen to pick like Shulk and Link. Yo, man. So, so, Coach Sakurai came in. He's like, you get a buff, you get a buff, you get a nerf. But nonetheless, K9 often uh, going to go ahead and choose. Let's go ahead and look at the bracket here. I guess he went, uh, Rex wants to go get his water, of course. Hydration is super important. Being hydrated is one of the best things you can ever have. Of course, you you and, uh, you and Edmund rock in the same water bottles, man. It's kind of cute, but... Uh, Rex, if you guys didn't, or just watching the stream now, Rex did beat out Master Mario 2-1 to make it out here. And of course, K9 beat out YMCA with 20 in a handshake. So let's see what goes on between this rematch of SoCal Chronicles, which happened out in uh, the beginning of this year, actually. That was in January. Also the start of the season, too, as well. Do you know who won that match? Actually? Uh, Rex. Rex actually beat uh, K9. And it's a funny little tidbit, too, because one of K9's original names is actually Link in Brawl. So. A little bit of a history there for you, but anyways, let's get into it. One thing that I'm going to note that Rex is doing here is the spacing. That's what you always want to do with Link. You want to make sure you have the boomerang to be sent out so you can go ahead and find some follow-ups, but also get the spacing because that's what you're looking for. The more spacing you have, the more you have your opponent a little bit on a frustrated end, and you're able to start getting into whip punishes. That's why you see Rex go for jab. It's more of a really good get up off, get off me option. Right. And then I'll point out that K9, as the wolf, he'll never use the laser in neutral. He'll always use that as a fade back or when he's got pressure when he's trying to make them land. Because laser in neutral, not as safe anymore. People kind of figuring out how to play around it. Yeah. And at this point, uh, using it as a pressure situation instead is much more reliable. Catches him on the directional air dodge, putting him in an offsite situation. Ooh. No tech chase, though, on the there, though. I respect that from, from Rex. Uh, one of the moves that I see Link mains do sometimes is go for down smash. There's the bomb jump, and he gets the right arc and the good tech indeed. Yep. I feel like K9, if he knew that matchup, that he would have uh, been already ready with a dare to intercept yeah. him getting hit by the bomb. But of course, I don't think he knew if he had enough time, so he was unsure. But now he knows for this next time around. Well, let's yeah. see what he does on the edge guard. Oh, super careful for K9 because if I'm sorry, if Rex would have angled that up a little bit differently, he would have been able to catch K9 and still hit him away from the ledge. But he gets that arrow snipe, sets himself at the ledge. I like that he's going for down tilt, spacing that self with that four tilt. Good whiff punish. That's kind of one of those things that Link pretty much excels with. It's frustrating his opponents with all these projectiles and then getting the great whip punish on your opponent. Because now you're frustrated. You're, you're literally losing to the fireball game and you're getting whip punish. All but the Nair puts him off stage. Link is kind of heavy, so he can't live to these soft hits for a very long time. He's yeah. looking for the hit that can do it. Back throw potentially take him the other side, but the corner DI honestly is a very tall stage, so it will allow him to survive a bit longer. Yeah, gets that neutral air there. K9 finally loaded back and actually keeping the stocks even. Rex with that forward immediately going back to the action. One of the things important to note is the boomerang is always out in play. That's one thing that Rex likes to do. And in any Link main who wants to go ahead and make this character, always hide the boomerang out. Because even if it misses your opponent, it comes back to you and it breaks the combos, gets that percent, and before your opponent knows that they're taking more damage than they thought. Yeah, it allows you to also use those high committal options that Link has a little bit more safer. If you do a spin attack and you try to punish it, then the boomerang comes back and you're safe. Exactly. You even have the bomb to supplement that as well. But that's one thing that Rex doesn't do. Compared to a lot of the Link bands, we have like Rin, we also have uh, French Tutor over there from the East Coast. Shout out to him, I'm a huge fan of him. But that's one thing that he doesn't do that we're seeing from Rex is the bomb play. He does, he's actually been using bomb quite a little bit. So as I said, he pulls out the bomb, and I like that option because at that point in the stage, K9 was going to be forced to face the bomb and either get the tech or not. Yeah. 
I don't think he was expecting the range to quite work like that. I feel like the explosion of the bomb is a little bit larger than the yeah. hitbox itself. But and I think K9 thought that he was going to be right outside the range, but it didn't quite work out for him there. So Rex is going to have a very slight lead, and he's slowly trying to climb it as he continues with these nares and these chains to get to solidify more damage. Yeah, and at this point, Rex pretty much has K9 on a little bit on the ropes, but here's the edge guard situation for K9. I like the fact that he's now looking some space on the ledge so he can see how Rex is going to land and respond to it, and there's the catch. He knows that Rex is going for these aerial options. And again, the up smash and low profile Wolf as well. So he's able to catch him underneath that nair. And at the same time, anti-air and get the kill. Very versatile move. Very strong for Wolf, as you can see. But the jump there, great read on the ledge option. That's not easy to do as late, especially if you don't have your setup with the bomb at the ledge to catch your roll. He's doing an amazing job of catching him. No tech roll in, but still Rex is tacking on the damage against K9. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, you know, that boomerang was coming right back. And I like the fact that Rex went for a neutral. It wasn't going to hit K9 on the shield at all. But if he would have gone for a roll option, he would have panicked. He would have definitely got hit by something there. Great back air. Rex immediately setting up the boomerang with a downward angle that if he goes low, he will get caught by a Rex. Almost getting that forward till he's making these plays here. And he's got K9 a little bit on the edge of that small shield. And I'm not too far behind in percent. Wolf has some crazy kill power, so if you're careful Oof. about it, then you could potentially get something going in the down smash just like that. He's looking for it. He's not quite finding it. The tech chase not getting it. Oh, either. and the boomerang comes back at the nick of time. I'm telling you, man, it is your friend. <laughs> That hit confirmed into the strong hit Nair. Man. Yeah, it did. That was, that's the thing about Nair, too. Nair has a weak hit and a strong hit, and the minute that we saw Rex go for it, even if that boomerang did not hit, he would've got a cross up with Nair into a grab, into another option that he probably could've go for up tilt. A lot of wolf mains like to go for aerials out of the shield. Rex had to set up and play. Great stuff from Rex. I feel like part of it was just like, oh shoot, the boomerang's there. Okay, I can confirm into it. But at the same time, he knew that yeah. he had that opportunity and he took it and he took the game because of it. Exactly. Uh, we were talking about weights earlier, Ryan. Wolf is actually a middleweight and Link is actually a heavyweight. So he's able to survive a little bit longer. That's kind of what makes the character pretty bonkers, in my opinion, right? Being, being probably somewhere between high tier and top tier, the lower end of top tier, in my opinion, is that he's got the weight to supplement and he's got the great setups, he's got the great projectiles. And especially the great play, that's one thing that I'm like I'm seeing from Rex, he accepts the laser play, because that's one thing you can do with Link, you always have active shield if you stand still, it's active for a certain amount of frames if you move though. So you have to either walk and approach if you're going to go ahead and fight those lasers, or just stand still and try to react as best as possible. Yeah, and of course using a uh, same wide stage, he's using the laser a little bit more, thinking to himself, okay, if I'm going to try to anti-zone this character, I have a transcendent laser that's able to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, well so far, one thing I'm liking about Rex here, he's staying calm, that down smash almost gonna say, oh, the DI on that one was not the greatest. I thought that Rex is kind of caught off guard on that one. Yeah, it looked like he went further faster <laughs> out into the glass zone. Not quite gonna work. Down to pick him back up again, put him onto the platform and getting a nice extension. 75%, I just blinked, and he's about to overlap the percents here on his next stock. Yeah, K9 playing back with some fear. The stage choice does matter for K9. I like that he spaces himself with that forward tilt. That's one thing like we mentioned earlier, right? The spacing was like, especially with that forward tilt. It's one of his slowest moves being frame 15. Oh no, catches the jump with the arrow, but he's got the pressure going. Okay, so far. Rex kind of standing still here. He's trying to keep it calm as much as possible at this situation. K9 holds all the cards. Brings out to an Edgar face. At this point, I was going to say Rex is going to have to commit to the upbeat because he was a little bit too close to the ledge. He wasn't that far off. Yeah, and he didn't have the jump available either. K9 already took that uh, when they were both on stage, and he just knew his opportunity. He got that trade from the hero spin. Nice, good up tilt. Definitely sees that K9 is going for a lot of these aerial options. Up tilt's really good to also co uh, cover cross ups as well. All the four throws from off stage. Bad angle, too. No opportunity for Rex, but he gets that nair. Puts bomb. stage one more time, but the high recovery gets right outside that bomb range. This is one of those opp opportunities that I want to say, like, Rex should he still, should still be shutting a bomb there at the ledge. Even though he's not going for it, I like the fact that he still sets up with the spacing. There's the up, he had a shield. Link's fastest move on the ground, frame seven. Gets that grab into the up tilt, missing and Kenan with a crucial tick in that situation. Yep. The bomb threat is still available. He decides to throw it. He doesn't get the hit confirmed from the bomb into explosion. But he still gets a decent amount of damage, but K9 still one stock ahead, and he's decently putting Rex at a higher higher percent. Rex yeah, not too far behind him. Exactly, definitely not slipping on K9, and K9 not slipping on Rex. Kind of trying to show a little bit of respect, comes in with that forward a little bit too high, and Rex tries to get a possibly in there, but unfortunately, the sweet spot of the side B, you always have to remember that when you edge guard a wolf. I think that was really good play in general. He knew he got hit by Wolf Flash, detected, brought it back around, tried to reversal with an up B. K9 was aware of it, got the up smash. So <laughs> many plays, and I know you're going to do this, and you're going to do that yeah. to survive. And he was able to get the kill because of it. <laughs>
It was the chess match, man. It was the ultimate chess match. You knew what your opponent was going to go for, and you had your options covered. Kill the rook, I kill the pawn. Kill the pawn, I kill the king. Kill the queen, win the game. Let's go to the next set. See where we can bring it out here, because the score is not 1-1. Uh, but like I said, that's one thing that I do see that Rex does differently from a lot of the other links. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we have Rin from the same re I totally forgot the region, but the same region that Rickles is from. We also have French Tudor from the East Coast. Of course, we can never forget about T. Those are a lot of links that use the bomb play a lot, and I know that Rex will use his bomb play the least out of all the link mates. And that's kind of one of the things that you have to understand about how you optimize Link, right? What's your bomb play? What's your arrow play? What is your boomerang play? You have to understand your toolkit when you're making a character and using it to the best ability here. And even though Rex doesn't use the bomb as the biggest toolkit, it's amazing to see what he can still do understanding how boomerang works. Because that's what we saw game one here. We're switching stages here to town and city. Rex with the up tilt and, I'm sorry, down throw into up tilt. Sees the spacing. I like it. Tries to close in the gap there. That's one thing about the, the reflector here is if your opponent goes for it, the drop of the reflector in terms of frames is pretty big, so you can actually still approach. Your opponent actually still has to re uh, respect some of your projectiles when you're at a distance. Wow, stayed right outside the range of that hero spin, trying to get that down smash. Uh, you can tell Kana is a very big favor of that down smash uh, compared to the other smash that X that Wolf has available. I haven't seen a single S smash this entire set, and he's got the pressure going against Rex when he's off stage. Is he going to get that back air? No, the drift from the dare. Not expecting it. He's able to go back down off stage to the ledge. I like it. Tosses in the boomerang for a good check. Sees that out of shield option. That's what he's looking for, right? To put his opponent on check and look for the mate. All right, good spacing there yet again from. Rex using that forward tilt, always making sure what spacing he has around K9. So if he comes in for an approach, he's able to get him forward tilt. Landing with forward in a second hit, still being the strongest in the game for Link. Get the kill here. Yeah, you know, a little bit scared of that bomb. Decides to hold shield because of that pressure. Of course, that's one of the things you can use with bomb is not detonating it. <laughs> and then the threat of it detonating G2 hit shield, and then Link can get a mix up off of that as well. Exactly. In that boomerang. That's kind of what we're seeing Rex use a little bit more this game around. Using the, utilizing the bomb. It's one of your best toolkits in the game, especially for Link. Goes for a back throw into the boomerang. He's got the ledge point, and I like the fact that he's still using those forward tilt because the boomerang on the way back would have covered a lot of options from against K9. Yeah, Footstool gets away from there, not wanting to deal with that. And the up smash picks him up, scoops him up, and on the sides, it's very easy to get caught by that. Solid tomahawk grab coming out there from Rex. He kind of has canine condition to understand, like, hey, I might be tossing you to projectiles. If not, I'm going for a tomahawk grab. I'm going to get some mileage out of that. Yep. And it's also the pressure from the Nairs, too, because mm -hmm. you have those big mix-ups after Nair. Also, you have, like, Nair dash shield and Nair dash, uh, Oof. like, jab and stuff like that to be able to catch bulls or just get a grab or whatever you want against this kind of pressure because Nair is so safe. Quick dash down for Max, and he gets that forward and sees the jump option, man. That's kind of what each opponent has been doing against each other, getting the anti airs, right? If I see you jump from the shield, here's my response. If I see you go out of the shield, here's my option. If from the ledge, same as well. Up okay. throw. And I'm thinking about what he could do, potentially get a combo or try to put him off stage. It's not quite going to work. But still, Rex tacking on the damage. Every time Link gets a little bit of extra damage against his opponent on the overlap stock, it's a big victory for him. And K9 just throwing out all these smash attacks, none of them connecting, though. <laughs> he's looking a little bit overzealous, and he's kind of tunnel vision here at the situation. He's looking for the kill, but he's not looking for the whole game here. He needs to kind of stand himself back and see the whole point of the game. I'm being spaced. I'm being whiff punished. I'm being. He's catching me out of shield from the ledge. I need to be careful. Oh, the jab, not quite able to get through that board till. Yo, man, the closest range of arrows, man. Oh, and that pressure with Nair. K9 just sitting in shield. He knows that Rex has got him on the mix up, potentially comboing off the bomb. Yeah. Bounce, but it's not going to get anything. One thing that I like also about Rex as well, as I mentioned earlier, he has good spacing with the board tilt, but he has good spacing with the jab. Jab doesn't have as much reach as you think, and it's kind of slow, actually. The fastest hit of jab is the third hit, and it has the longest range. Oh, okay, now, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Nah, I can't make it back. The stage is in the way, and Rex is going up 2-1. Yeah. I mean, K9 wants the run back here from SoCal Chronicles, but Rex still pr putting out the same show he gave to him the last time. I don't remember the particular score there, but... Still, Rex out here showing he has one of the best links in the business here in SoCal. Out here, winner semis, almost on his way to winner's finals. So for those of you wondering, where is Nico? He's out there in the west, uh, East Coast. He's out there in Locals. He did 17th at Collision. Uh, shout out to Lux as well, our fellow commentator. He was out there uh, at Collision. Shout out to you, man. And of course, Nico got 17th. He was out there in a local for Monday. I don't remember the name of the local, but I know he's out there. Is it Zeno? Uh, I don't know if Zeno's is on Mondays. I think Zeno's is on Tuesday. Yeah, Zeno's is, right. he's, he's, yeah. Check out House of 3000, by the way, guys. If you guys are all interested in keeping up with the East Coast scene, House 3000 is my personal favorite tournament to watch. It's got some great names. Scott Gen, French Tutor, Mr. E. A couple names out there for you. But let's get into the MSM here. That's where we're at. 
why did Kanan go back? I mean, these are the two games that Rex won were on this stage. I don't know why Kanan want to go back, to be honest. And that's kind of what I'm questioning, too, because you were giving Link the space that you were losing to last game, yeah. right? Objectively, you kind of want to have a smaller space, but even then, if you were to go to Battlefield or even Town um, Smashville, the smaller blast zones, Link's forward air could kill you a lot earlier. Getting hit by Nair could kill you a lot earlier. Getting hit by Bonk could kill you a lot earlier. You have to recognize that Link also has great stages as well. So he has a pretty good pull list of stages. Got space with this stage though as well. So see how oh, wow the forward, uh, the forward throw actually sending him into combo and he got a Texas uh, confirm off of that as well. Oh, he goes really close in the air to air, but the spin attack is punished on that forward smash after shield. Okay, great DI coming up from Rex. Going a little bit low to make sure he can recover here. I like the fact that he does the reverse hero spin because if it would have dragged K9 out, I would have stolen the kill on him. Yeah, it's a good way to get the reversal and to make sure it's like, okay, you're going to try to go for the edge guard. Here's a way for me to bring it back. Just like Krom with the ether. Exactly. Up the out of shield yet again. Weak strong as fast as moving the ground there, especially out of shield. And when you angle the shield just right, you're actually able to do an immediately up the out of shield as soon as your opponent is done hitting you. Always important to notice. Intercepting him in the air to air is that neutral air of course. Link's godsend is able to get him in a lot of uh, air to air combat. It works out so well for him. But of course, K9 has a very nice nair himself, putting him off stage one more time. Is he going to get the option? He's waiting. Oh, I like that patience from K9. He's actually at a pretty optimal side of the, the stage because if he tries to go for an aerial, he can go for a back air. If he tries to roll in, he can get a grab. And you just saw that he was wiggling back and forth, but he had him. Rex just enough space there. to go for the neutral getup, so he got himself off stage one more time. The getup attack, Link, one of the longest uh, getup attack ranges in the game, and I'm not expecting that. Exactly. One thing to notice, too, is that Karen's been going up for a lot of nares on, on Rex, and Rex has been catching the up out every time. She's lost that way two times already. So at this point in the game, Karen needs to understand, I have to be careful when I approach him with the shield here, because Rex is understanding what I'm doing. Back back back. That'll kill, yeah, especially from that side of the ledge. Oh, and it's gonna pop off, indeed. K9 trying to psych himself back into the game. Yeah, I mean, he's got... Oh, the wolf flash right in front of him! He thought... I'm pretty sure he wanted to sweep off the ledge, but it's just not working out for him. And yeah. they're putting him off stage into the fort, so such a strong move. Not gonna snipe him, but the air dodge comes out from the pressure. Oh, into and the there ledge it is. Drop, into the hero spin, and Rex takes it, and he brings him back into winner's...